Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video here in KTFG and it's a massive day for the Armagh GA calendar. It is Championship Final Day, the Intermediate Final, the first game on between St Paul's of Lurgan and Cully Hanna. I think we're going to go down for the last 15 or 10-15 minutes or so of that game. Half time I believe Cully Hanna are beating them well so I would expect the South Armagh outfit to win that one. But then a big game of course, Clannagale of Lurgan are taking on Cross and Glen. Now these two sides faced off against each other, you know, uh, back in the group stages and actually finished the draw up in David Park in Lurgan so they get Clan Hill definitely can match uh, Cross McGlen. like in Cross McGlen, so far in the championship they've looked a bit dodgy at times they're still looking pretty good like but I mean they're just not looking as good as they have as they were probably last year say and you know Clan Gale coming off that brilliant comeback against their big rivals Clan and you know likes of Supi Campbell and Shane McPart and they're surely going to be uh, key players in that Clan Gale side if the Lurgan outfit are to win the championship finally yet again but Cross the Glen like, like I mean of course they're so experienced at the uh, championship final and with players like Ryan O'Neill playing good Oshin O'Neill has been very good Kane McConville Jamie Clark who just go on and on about the quality in the Cross the Glen side it is definitely going to be a very very good game it's going to be very tight as well very competitive I would also say um, I'm going to give you a prediction when I'm down in the athletic rounds so that's all of my talking done for now I'll see you all then and the athletic rounds here we are then our bed of the stadium going for a bit of the second half of the Cully Hanaby St Paul's game here we are then 15 minutes left of the intermediate final. It's not really not a contest. You can't see the scoreboard from here, but it's Cully Hanna 315. St. Paul 7 points. Yeah, not much of a contest here. That's a point that I thought St. Paul's would be able to put it up to them, but clearly Cully Hanna is far too good. Here's Aidan Nugent. Good block by Nugent. He's away here. Good goal. 420 to 7 points. Must be one of the biggest Duffins in Arma GA final history. Well, it's sort of goal. Consolation goal for St. Paul's. Well worked, but hardly means anything now. All over. Cullihan are intermediate champions. The celebrations maybe not as big. As would have thought, clearly Cully Hanna. Too good for intermediate football. It's finished, I think, 420 to 1-7. Would have loved a better competition. That's two finals in a row loss for St Paul's. Big hurt for them. Well, congrats Cully Hanna. Way better side in the day. And deserve to win intermediate. Hanna Intermediate Champions of 2023. There you are. Well, here they are. Hanna Gale out now. Let's call Hanna continue to celebrate. Big game. I'd love to see a better competition than this one. I, think, I do think we're going to get a good competition here. There's Shane McPartland. There's Supi. Another big performance by Supi, possibly. Hanna Gale Ultras are out. Halibot, if they get behind the team, the Clan of Gale are in for a very good chance of winning this. And it's said uh, we've got about 45 minutes now until the throw in of Cross McLean by Clan of Gale. Cross McLean out now as well. There's Ryan, number 14. Getting to stop a big time for Cross today. We've got about 35 40 minutes now to throw in. Crowds are building, still in the attack rooms. There's the band getting warmed up for the pre match period.
Jimmy Clark getting a bit right out. Final begins. Pick, pick over. Shane McCartland opens the score. One more can of go. Really bad enough there. Ryan stepping up here. Pressure on him. He's looking good. Oh, he's put it away. Let's get their first score up for 8 minutes, one one. And he's playing. Look at this here. He's getting out of another dirty tricks again there. He could be in danger there, he's lucky the ref didn't see that but the umpire may have something to say. Yeah, I would I think it would be a great person to have on the bench. Last question, Luke. Cross equal lead after 14 minutes. Far, far, oh, did it? Oh, did it? Two each now after 18 minutes, just low scoring, but very physical. Who can I I send back in the lead now. Green searching for his first score of the game. That's 4 3 now after 22 minutes. Oh, he slipped. Oh. Go for Conagale. Cross with Lenner under serious pressure now. Very scrappy. A goal to goal. Massive. Ooh. That was a dig in the ribs there. You surely expect him to score this. Very good when he set the ball key in the combo. Good score there, Ian. It's a one point game now. Half time here, then. It's been a very good game so far. It's Panagale kind of 1 4, Crossman then 6 points, a one point game. I'm probably going to stick with what I would have said um, at the start, before the game did start. I'm going to say cross my lemons before in the end. I think in the end they're just going to steam on ahead and they will get it done. However, Panagale looking good at the moment. They're looking the better side actually. 
and well, cross and blend, just not looking good enough in my opinion so far. I still wouldn't be too surprised here if Clannock get a win, but I'm still going to go with cross and blend by four points, uh, full time score. So we'll see you all then for the second half. Second half begins. There's a black card here for Clannagale. They're down to 14 men for the next 10 minutes. That could definitely change the tide of the game here. Clannagale have a good support up there. 20 minutes ago, Cross have a three point lead now. Let's see if Clannagale can get back into it. Ooh. Bad miss there. Can we get our away here, Luke? Number 11. Good score. Number 11 was right open though. Might not have been the right choice, but we'll take our point anyway. We missed earlier on from off the ground. I see can he score now. One of the worst misses I've ever seen. Might even be worse than the St Paul's miss I've seen earlier on. Could put cross and then eight points up pretty much sealing victory. Cross fans loving it. Oh, can't even score it. After 25 minutes, we've only scored one point in the second half. That is pretty bad. Game over. An absolute demolition job in the end. Stadium's emptied out very much. Three minutes left to stop the team. Second point of the half. Another point for Clannagale. Too little, too late. All over. Cross the glen. Back to back. And have won. They've won yet another championship. Everyone went over to Rain O'Neill. Very well deserved. Really wasn't much of a competition in the end. I see you. He's over here. So lads, there you go then. The Cha Armagh Championship titles both return into South Armagh as Cully Hanna and Cross McGlenn have both been crowned champions of their respective tiers. Now, of course, I've already talked about the Cully Hanna game. won't really talk much more about that. But Cross McGlenn and Clannagale, very disappointing in the end. A Clannagale didn't put it up to them in the second half. It was a very, very good first half, which seen the Lurgan side actually lead at the break. So uh, I think the black card very early on in the second half for Clannagale really probably did kill their momentum and that made Cross McGlenn steam on to win in the end. 
But yeah, Cross McGlenn just, I mean, it still didn't look 100% at their best. Like, uh, still, like, Cian McConville was absolutely superb again. I thought Aaron Kernan also had a very good performance as well. Oshie O'Neill as well, still looking very, very good. And well, like, you know, Cross McGlenn will already, be, will, will already be accustomed to winning the Armagh Championship. Their aim for this year then should definitely be to win also. They've got a tricky draw. They're playing the winners of Tyrone between Ergil, Cairn and Trellick. So it's definitely going to be a very, very hard draw there for Cross McGlenn. But look like, at, you know, if they are if, if at their full 100%, which I'm sure they've been saving themselves for, and I do think Cross and Glenn Daphne can put it up to the Throne Champions, and um, well, then let's just wait and see what happens there in the Ulster Championship. So that will end it is. Last day vlog, I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications. You can go up and support the channel once again, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all once again in KTFG very, very soon.